Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with Jay Reacts. Of course, I am Jay, and today we're going to watch Loki Season 2, Episode 5. The way 4 ended was absolutely nuts. Obviously, the main characters are still alive. I don't know too much about Victor. That was crazy. He turned into spaghetti. If this is the type of content you guys are interested in, please stick around as I work my way out of this weird, seemingly YouTube shadow ban. But without wasting any more of your time, let's do this. Man, this music is eerie. I always look to see if there's new characters in the little Marvel animation. I really like that jacket he's wearing. <laughs> Wait, where did everybody go? Did he get zapped to another? There's no one around. Sold out a pie. Oh, it's time slipping again. This is not happening again! Yeah, it is. He's probably gonna have to explain himself all over again. If people even know who the hell he is. Hello? Oh, snap, that's him. Crazy man. It's like a weird nightmare. Wait, is he gonna start thumbing through the book and he's gonna appear in the back? Yep. Hello? So, is he going forward or backwards? I can't figure it out yet. Whoa. Fail safe mode. Interesting. I wonder if it's like self-preserving mode. Are we in prison? Casey. Who the San Francisco, 1962. Are they at Alcatraz? It sounded like Loki. Let's go. Hurry up. If they catch us, they're gonna cut us like fish. Casey, I got you here. Is everyone here? Who are you? Oh, it's a variant. How'd you get here? I don't know how I got here. That's the problem. I don't You're know what's too loud, dude. Casey. I've been calling you Frank the whole time. Frank? It, it is true. You said your name was Frank. I don't know this guy. I don't know you. Huh. Sorry, pal. That had to have freaked them out. Slow key freaking me out, and I know what's going on. The interrogation room? Season one? So we got a good cast on here for you. Hey. It's gonna help you heal nicely, but you're gonna have to wear it for six weeks, okay? Tell me in the comments if you ever had a hard cast. I broke my wrist once. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ooh, they work at a sports store? Slapping you in the face, Don? and nothing but open water in front of you. Don, Woo. your son's calling on line three. Tell him I'll call him back. So mm. talk to me. What are you thinking? Jump up on this bad boy. I'm good. Sorry. Call me if you change your mind. He's a salesman. Great donuts today, Dale. I didn't guess that one. <laughs> Piranha Power Sports. Makes sense. How could he not get up here, Dale? Crazy. You're here. I like his oh, outfit. Yes. Every his uniform, his get up. Sunday, <clears throat> nine to five. The TVA. You don't know it's who gone. you are, man. We got in two of them last week. You don't remember me either. You were in just the other day, right? Your son's on line three. He's got a son. I caught that. I didn't pick it up the first time he said it. Told you I'll call Damn him. Damn it, family. Your other son. Tell him I'll call him back too. Hmm. It's really good. 
He's one of OB. the OB. I read everything he does. Ooh. Hmm. Am I reading the barcode? Uh, I can give you cash. I don't need a receipt or anything. Yeah, but I have to ring it up or... Are you buying your own book? I told you to stop putting your sci-fi books on our shelves. Oh. Science fiction is a well-respected and thought-provoking genre. Dang. Better off in the TVA, homie. I would buy your book. Can you see everyone's pitiful lives? On their respective timelines? This gotta be Sylvie then, right? Well, she's from Asgard. But, there's probably another Sylvie. Looks like that big, TV, that big room in the TVA. It's just not... Blue. What I'm about to tell you is going to be hard to believe. <laughs> He's a sci-fi nerd, of course though. I believe you. It's a dream come true. <laughs> One of my characters has come to life and needs my help. This reminds me of what happens in The Sons of Urine. What's that? My most popular book of all time. You are a writer. Science fiction. I'm doomed. But, and this is kind of embarrassing. I had to get a PhD to get my day job teaching theoretical physics at Caltech. Wait, you're a scientist as well? How copy? much of the TVA guidebook is science like fiction I'm, now, I'm right? So sorry. Can we just stay on track? Of course. I need to go back to before the temporal loom melted down. You time travel in a place that has no time, right? Right. That's not possible. I know. So you traveling to a place that doesn't exist anymore is equally impossible. And therefore, it's something you might be able to do. Sure. Excellent. Makes total sense. Right, so, sound so that answers my question. Time does work differently in the TVA, and they probably said that in season one, but there is no time in the TVA. So if that's the case, then Sylvie, time is moving everywhere else. But you have time for pie because if you're eating in the TVA, then isn't time just paused everywhere else until you go there? I don't know. Let's continue before you guys get mad. You need to learn how to control your time slipping. I can't just make it happen. It's, uh, it's random. But it isn't random. Because you keep ending up around exactly the people you're looking for. And it's evolving. It's true. It's like you're a better version of one of those tampads. With science, it's all what and how. But with fiction, it's why. <sighs> so why do you need to do this? Get the team back together. Because if I can't save the TVA from being destroyed, there will be nothing to protect against what's coming. You should be able to control it. So go ahead. Now, Why hasn't he slipped out? Just do it. Here we go. Focus in on that why. It's not going to work. Never does. <laughs> Nothing. Do it. <laughs> you must be doing something wrong because it really feels like the time slipping is the answer. I wonder if his name's Ouroboros. Because Casey wasn't Casey. Okay, let's forget about the time slipping. How does science help us get to a place that doesn't exist? Hmm. I saw it disappear with my own eyes. But then you said you also time travel in a place at the TVA, right? If that's the case, then maybe the place and time you're looking for still exists. But you just don't know where to look for it. Let's try this. Hold this. Yeah. We get the band back together. I said that. That doesn't seem very scientific. You said everyone, every one of your friends has a temple aura. That means a group of people would have a collective aura unique to that moment in time. If we can get everyone together in one place, we can read that aura. From different times? It'll be like coordinates. And we can use these coordinates to get back to that moment in time. No. Why? Because we don't have one of those tempests you talked about. Well, can you build one? Without any of the knowledge of how it works, they could take a whole lifetime. <sighs> He's got a TVA book. Sure as shit. I want one of those. What if you had that knowledge? You wrote it. There's one on every desk of the TVA. So I am going to write a bestseller. <laughs> well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Give him the book. Zap out. Maybe that's the thing. Where's Sylvie? Okay, guys, we're gonna have a new rule. Any toy found outside your room is gonna be classified as garbage. Is he burnt? Yeah, he's burnt. 
I've done that before. How did he get burnt? Kevin, who gave you the matches? I stole them. Don't run, Kevin. Kevin. Sean, go get them. Yeah, I would, I would ask to get knocked out of that reality really quick. Hello. Oh, you were at the shop earlier. That's right. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't stick around back there. I was, um, I was in a bit of a time crunch. Yeah, you were looking for ATVs. The TVA. Yeah. I got something I want to show you. I wonder what he has. He's got to have something important. Now, ordinarily, I wouldn't dream of parting with one of these beauties, but the wife is long gone, and I can't ride two of them. Plus, the boys are probably going to need braces and math tutors. A beautiful union of form and function. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. I'm afraid I'm not here to buy a jet ski. I'm going to tell you something that's hard to understand, Mobius. Mobius? If that's your name. We you think his name is Mark? Mobius is your real Or Brian. Name, and you belong in a place called the TVA. I don't want any trouble. It's all right, I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Bullshit. What? How did you build a temp pad so fast? I don't know if I say 18 months is fast. I had to take a break and move out when I lost my job and my wife left me. Oh. So what now? What's happening? I promise you this will make sense. He had nothing to lose. So he ended up in the TVA. What's Mobius' hook gonna be? How did you... Reality isn't what you think it is. I didn't realize OB was that little. Look how little he is. And I don't understand. I know you. You saved my life when I first arrived. You saw something in me that I hadn't seen in myself. Who's he? Is he my friend? He will be. But I need your help to save this place. The TVA. I sell jet skis, man. What about my boys? They'll be fine. Look, you can come back. Anytime. Oh, you were, uh, oh. You were at the shop earlier, right? Wow. I can bring you back to any point in time. It'll be like you never left. All of existence is in grave danger. I guess that makes sense. I can't keep them safe. And confusing. Unless you help me. What were you calling me? Mobius. Mobius. It's a pretty cool name. This is gonna sound strange. What would you do? If you saw something like that happen, and you had one choice. Let's go, Casey. Casey just escaped from prison, so that was an easy decision. Just missing Sylvie. I wouldn't trust him. Look at him, stealing shit. Mobius is my space name. So, is this everyone? There's one more. Which version of Sylvie is this? Hopefully the version that has seen him before, or this could get really tense. I'm guessing not. But she's a Loki. This is gonna sound strange. I know you don't know who Loki. I am. Of course I know who you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> Right, did you see the Loki? You do? Why wouldn't I? Because nobody else did. Their lives are reset after the lunar- Yeah, I know, I was there. So she said fuck it and just went back to McDonald's? This isn't how I thought this scene was gonna play out. What exactly were you expecting? <laughs> okay. Get in the car. I'm buying you a drink. Okay. No time for that. So is B-15s. OB, Casey was a prisoner. They don't remember who they are. Their Brad. Yeah, and they're finally back in their real lives. That's a good thing. But Mobius should have a choice now. Shouldn't they all? To return to the TVA if they want? You would be ripping people from their lives, showing them something that they cannot unsee. You don't care? So selfish. Of course I'm selfish. You see, she's a Loki. I want to live. What's wrong with wanting something Loki? I want to save everything. All of it. I want my friends back. I don't want to be alone. We're both selfish. You never had I friends, know this though. This is hard. But your friends are back where they belong. That would suck. 
Where do I belong? We're all writing our own stories now. Hmm. Go write yours. I can understand where Sylvie's coming from. I don't know if she's really happy. She's just running. She's been running her whole life. Some of us have time-sensitive activities going on. We can get you right back where we got you. So that doodad just takes you wherever you want to go? Yeah. Grand Canyon. Yeah. Bank vaults. You get out on the water much? No, I live in the city. Do we city. know B-15's name? opportunity, you know? I'm gonna borrow this. Don't bother. You should all go home. Something's gotta happen to change everyone's mind. This is a short episode. Looking at the time. How's my only regular doing? Don't you ever go home? Oh, I like it here more. Well, I'm glad of the company tonight. I got just the thing. This will either cure what's ailing you or make it a whole lot worse. Thank you. Cotillion? Cotillion? Who's this? Is it Loki? <laughs> oh, yo, that is crazy looking. Stuff just got real. It's such a cool looking effect, man. Can't escape it now. Yeah, girl, you better peace out while you still can. I got it wrong, all right? You should go back to your son. Sylvia about to show I mean, up. But that's just it. You said they were in danger. Go back to your lives. That's where you belong. But do I need to go back to exactly where I was? <laughs> Jail. What about the TVA? You're all just fine without him. No, they aren't. Everything's falling apart. The branches are dying. So what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but there must be something we can do. We can go back. We can stop the limb. She from loves working at McDonald's, doesn't she? We have all the pens, the mug, the cool. The band together. Uh, okay. We need to read the collective temporal aura of everyone in this room on the ten pad. Where did it go? I didn't take it. We need that temp pad now. Great, but I still didn't. Thing is, this big. Oh no, that Casey's gone. Oh boy. What do we do? It was a fiction. Plan. What in the world is going on right now? No, no, I have to go back to see my boys. I... You about the spaghetti eyes? Whoa, wait, not Sylvie. I have to go back to see my boys. Do you think that what makes a Loki a Loki is, is the fact that we're destined to lose? There's nowhere left to go. Whoa. No, they aren't. Everything's falling apart. The branches are dying. I did it. What? Hmm. This is crazier than Inception. You learn to control your time slipping. Yes. It's not about where, when, or why. It's about who. Mm -hmm. So Casey was the first. I can rewrite the story. <laughs> okay. Okay, wow. I, I don't... So that was a shorter episode. So I don't... That was a shorter episode. So I don't think I need to, to step through and go through the whole editing thing to talk about it. Uh, but I had some questions. And every time I had a question, it got answered. Other than 
We don't, we don't know B15. We don't know her name. I guess we don't know Mobius's name either, but it's not Mobius. We don't even know if OB is OB because we can assume it's not OB because Casey isn't Casey. Sylvie's still Sylvie, which means that she knew and she pieced out as soon as it all happened. So how did she piece out? But whatever happened was so instantaneous at the end of episode four, Loki just went from glassy eyed, covered in white light to being alone in the TVA. I don't know if people really love this show as much. I really love it. It's very deep, multi-layered, and confusing. I At the end of that episode, I started thinking, wow, this is very Inception-esque. But I think Inception was pretty easy to understand versus what we're being shown here so far. And all the different theories and things that the show continues to throw at us. But the thought that I had as people were turning into spaghetti was, the last time we saw Victor Timely... He turned to spaghetti. I call it spaghetti. It's obviously not spaghetti. But my thought was his timeline was uh, it, it was destroyed. It was it fell. Therefore, he fell. And I thought that's what was going on. I think that's what was going on with Sylvie. Her Earth, her McDonald's job, that failed. But then why did she fail? Because she's a Loki. It's just it's super weird to me. But I'm excited to see one more episode to go. Guys, if you like this reaction, and if you want to see the full-length reaction, plus all my full-length reactions, check me out at Get Real with J Patreon. And please subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video, which will be the last episode of Loki Season 2. I'm excited. I'll see you guys next time.